this this part of Gala Shields here is what's known as the Raid Stain or Englishman's Sight. And it was where allegedly in 1337 a group of Gala Shields men murdered a gang of English invaders. Now the story goes that the English invaders ate the sewer plumes or plums that grow in the trees around here which made them ill and that made the Gala boys able to run in and kill them. Now the town's coat of arms derives from this incident and the coat of arms basically is a, a plum tree with two foxes standing on either side. But have you ever wondered why there are two foxes? Well come with me and I'll tell you why. I had to stop filming down at the actual site of the the raid stain because it's you know a 40 year old guy lurking about in the shadows outside a college with a 36 zoom camera. These days isn't it really socially acceptable. But yeah, this whole sewer plumes incident and the the Gala Shields borough coat of arms with the two foxes has been playing on my mind and I've been thinking a lot about it about it recently. Now obviously we want to celebrate and educate and you know talk about you know the brutal and barbaric murder of these English uh, campers and then you know their consequent you know, desecration of the bodies and unholy disposal, I suppose, of their uh, carcasses. You know, we, we, we never want to forget that, we want to teach our children about that, and we want to you know, revel in the fact that we've done that. But what I have a bit of a problem with is why do we use foxes? Foxes for our emblem. You know, the fox, the, the sly scavenger of the animal world, is that what we want to be known as? Sly scavengers? We only come out at night. Mm. Yeah, I, I know that I talk about it all the time, but you know, the animals in Gala Shields, like you know, the majestic kingfisher, the noble otter, the proud and brave peregrine falcon, the king of the skies, the buzzard, you know, all these brilliant animals that we have all, everywhere in Gala Shields, which could so easily have graced our coat of arms and what did we go away we went with the fox I mean, don't get me wrong I like foxes but why know any of these other animals so I decided to do a wee bit of digging as to why we did choose the fox and lo and behold wouldn't you know it was a mistake some of you may have heard the old fable about the fox and the grapes Basically the story goes this fox is jumping, 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 trying to get, grab hold of these grapes on a vine that are too high for him to reach. He can't reach them so he turns away and he says, well, they probably would have been sour anyway. I think the, the whole meaning of the story is, you know, it's very easy to criticise something that you can't have, but it was one of these common fables or, you know, procedure to proverbs that, that were common in the Middle Ages. So when whoever it was was creating the borough of Gala Shields, the seal, I don't know what the seal is but it's slightly different for the coat of arms, they created this picture of a, a fox and vines, you know, sewer plumes. So they clearly got the story of the English invaders eating these sour plums mixed up with the fox eating the sour grapes and they came up with this, this, this uh, seal. Many years later when they're producing the, the real borough coat of arms, it didn't match anything on the, the seal, so they had to adapt it to match the seal. And they done that by changing the vine to the sewer plumes. But they kept the fox. So that's how we've got two foxes in our emblem. So I say, what I say, is we should change it. And here are some ideas. You know, obviously it'd be very easy to change it for another two animals, two of the ones I've talked about, something like this. I mean, my, my daughter's only two years old, but she's very artistic, so what about this? I mean, most people in Gala Shields love sports, and then probably the most popular sport is the American wrestling, so what about like, this? Culture and music and, and the arts are very popular in Gala Shields as well, so what about this? 
different ideas, but worth a thought. Now, if I was to ask you what's the biggest tragedy ever to happen in Gala Shields, you'd probably be racking your brains trying to think of a, a car accident or a bus accident or something like that. But the biggest accident ever, or the biggest tragedy ever in Gala Shields, was actually a boating accident, which happened right here. In 1723, there were hardly any bridges over the Tweed and ferries were popular. Uh, so in this year there was a, a ferry from Gala Shields to Melrose for the Melrose Fair. Uh, you can see down the Tweed here actually on the sides of the river all the way down these big hooks. which were probably used for, for mooring these ferries. But anyway, this ferry was on its way down to Melrose for Gala, fully laden with people, much bigger than the boats you get on the, on the Tweed nowadays. Uh, the Tweed was in flood. The ferry had moored at the side, but the rope broke, so the ferry drifted off down the river, and right at the rapids in the corner here, it was crushed on the rocks. Yeah, so, so right here, on these rocks, on that, I was going to say fateful day, but it's a wee bit of cliche, so I'll just say on that, that black day in 1723, a total of 20 people lost their lives. 20 people. A huge tragedy for the town, and you know, the whole town was obviously in mourning. It's something you never, I've, never, I've certainly never heard about it until until I read uh, a, a, a book that I read that one. I would actually rather be a seagull than a fox. You know, one of the seagulls up at the dump. At least you could fly. 